Take away city today, man. Take away city. This team here in Orchard Park, New York. It's America's game of the week. It's and so Ty Johnson back deep right now. Don't know how much of an effect it'll have on play, but certainly the Bills are used to it. And a lot on the line here this afternoon. Great to have you aboard the NFL on Fox. And here we go. And the Bills will start from their own 25 yard line. And that's where we will see Josh Allen. And we say officially, hi, Greg Olson, Kevin Burkhart. Bills have a lot of teams to climb. They don't control their own destiny. One good thing, Josh Allen playing out of his mind. Yeah, he's one of the top playmakers in the entire league. But today, everything is about the ball. Can he harness some of that unbelievable playmaking, the special traits that we see week in and week out? Can he do it while limiting the negative plays, the turnovers? Takes in motion to start. It's Cook looking for a block. Cuts back. Not much there. Played well by the Cowboys and Demarcus Lawrence. So we're talking about Josh Allen. And of course, they changed coordinators, Joe Brady, a month ago. And Allen, here's the bottom line. Everyone talks about the turnovers. He's a touchdown machine. He's got the most touchdowns in the league. That's pretty good last time I checked. Yeah, and that they, they want all the good. The question is, can they get all the good if they try to limit the negatives with play calling and scheme. I think they have to try to straddle that line. Sometimes the negative plays are going to rear their head. But man, in between those, it's about as special as it gets. Allen back. Screen not there. Third and fourth option. Gets it out far side of the field. It's complete there. And it's caught by Diggs. Stephon Diggs getting involved early. He's going to be short of a first down. It'll be third and short. Behind this offense, and it's interesting, saying with Diggs, He's kind of become a forgotten man the last few weeks. They do, and I think today he has to win. It's going to be a lot of man-to-man -man matchups. Dallas Cowboys going to play man coverage as much as anybody across the league. They need their premier player on offense, aside from Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, to win these matchups, and he's got to win them consistently throughout the game. You see him here in the slot, Deron Bland on the inside. Third down and two. Allen going to run it. Fake throw, stay with it, first down, Buffalo. What Dan Quinn tell us, he said he did an entire period this week on the token little pump fakes. He goes, sometimes he pump fakes the ball when he's past the line of scrimmage. This time he's clearly behind, but it's just enough to move Marquise Bell by a little space. And he's as good as anybody in the league picking up first downs, both of his legs and then obviously, of course, through the air. Here's Cook, left side on the seam. James Cook has got a first down. And so we know today will be a tough task. The Cowboys have the third best defense in the league, and Buffalo has to find a way to at least slow down Michael Parsons. Absolutely. It all starts with pass protection. When you want to go back to pass, whether it's on early downs or it has to be on third down, if you don't block number 11, it's going to be a long day. So everything starts there and then works out to the concepts they're going to move Parsons all over. You can see him right here, lined up left defensive end. James Cook again on that left side, and this time into Cowboys territory. And still chugging inside the 45. Fans love it. He's got eight. He's got nine. He's got 11. <laughs> wow, what a run. There's been a lot of talk about this transition from Ken Dorsey as the play caller to Joe Brady. The one thing that has been clear, they are going to run the ball more than they have in years past. They want to develop a little bit of an attitude. They feel that's a difference between this team and maybe some of the former years. Bills, they have a little bit more of an attitude and they have an offensive line that they think is built for both run and pass. the fake has time looking deep fires digs inside and he's got it out near the 20 and he beats Stephon Gilmore on the route first down play action pass this is something they have to continue to major in throwing early and then there he is Stephon Diggs working against Stephon Gilmore 
Stephon Diggs is their best player. He's their best skilled player. They have to get him going and target him downfield, and that first down play action pass does just that. 14. Cook again, jump cut, and another up the middle, and Cook gets belted down at the 16-yard line, so he is running hard. And we talk about Diggs, Greg, and, you know, his role has kind of diminished the last few weeks. Cook has turned into a star, and it's in the pass game, too. But back to Diggs. I'm I think they have no choice. It's going to be man-to-man. -man. We saw it on that first down play pass. Continue to work your best player. Here, though, Cook up the middle. And Cook, and looks to have another first down. It'll be close. See where the mark is. Looks to have it. And it is a first down. Well, Sean McDermott and these Buffalo Bills, they do not control their own destiny. And the Dolphins won in a route today. They've got teams to leap over in the wild card. Their best route may actually be to win the division. They beat Miami already. They have them to end the season. Bottom line, they just got to win. They got to win out. So today is huge for them. The Cowboys have clinched a playoff spot as of today, the way some of the games worked out. So they're in, but they're looking for a division title and a one seed. On the fake, pressure in Allen's face, throws it away. Guess what? There's Micah Parsons. Yeah, that's tough sledding there. They're trying to just block him down enough here with Dawson Knox just to disrupt him to allow Josh Allen to break contain, but his change of direction, his burst, he's just, he's such a handful. No matter whether you run at him, you run away from him, he chases you down. He's just the ultimate player and that's the reason why he's in that conversation by the end of the year he's going to be in it for defensive player of the year we're good, we're good, we're good. Ty Johnson gets his first carry of the day he's following up the middle four runs into J. Ron Curse's arms and he's down around the 11 so up comes third down Greg one key injury as you look at Parsons and he's a little slow to get up there I was going to say Malik Hooker is not starting today out with an ankle injury for Dallas. He's a starting safety. So one yay Thomas is in and now Parsons. Is he OK? Yeah. Take a look here. It looked like he had one of the bills go into his legs. Reggie Gilliam there 41 just kind of got tripped up and fell into Michael Parsons knee and he's now right now on the sideline. For this big third and four. Allen. Flushed out. In trouble. Going back to the end zone for Diggs, and it's overthrown. There is a penalty flag, though, too, near the quarterback, so hang on. Demarcus Lawrence was in the area. Maybe he hit jo Josh Allen late. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense, number 90. That penalty's half of the full automatic first down. Wow, you get a big stop against one of the best red zone teams in the league. Let's take a look. They kind of forearms him right in the chest there late. 